Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to give you a tour of our 2018 spring front door and show you how to make a DIY tulip wreath and a DIY welcome mat. So let's start with this really simple tulip wreath. I took a faux boxwood wreath that I found at Michael's last year on sale and I also bought a bunch of faux tulips from Michael's as well. Uh, these were 50% off so they were a really great deal. I think they were only around $2 a stem Canadian. This boxwood wreath was also on sale and it has a really nice grapevine back so I was able just to trim these tulips off and just stick them right into the boxwood and the grapevine wreath without any glue or anything. This way I can use this wreath again later for a different season. I love boxwood wreaths because I really do feel like they're seasonless and timeless and you can use them for so many different things. So I just stuffed the tulips in there, just used pink, white, and green and just kind of put them in where I wanted them. So after that I took this black and white striped ribbon that I found off of Etsy and I really love kind of the French country farmhouse look of this black and white stripe. I tied the top around just like this and then I took another piece and made a bow. I just made kind of your regular bow and just kind of made sure all of my pieces were straight and then I took a glue gun, put a little blob of glue on the first piece of ribbon and just glued my bow onto that. And then I just folded the bottoms of the ribbon of the bow in half like this and then cut them diagonally to make the bottoms of the ribbon. And then I just hung it on my door just like this. I just have a little wreath hanger and I love how this wreath looks. I think it's just kind of your French country classic farmhouse look and I love that I could remove the tulips if I want to change it up for a different season. Now I want to show you how to make a really simple DIY welcome mat. You wouldn't have to use the words welcome, but I just wanted to make your classic welcome mat. I cut out the word welcome on some cardstock with my Cricut. Now if you don't have a Cricut, I've done this before without a Cricut before I had one, and I just printed off the words on cardstock and used an X-Acto knife to carefully cut out the words. And now you're going to have kind of loose pieces and things like this, so just kind of cut everything how you need it to be. And then for the this mat I used actually just tiny blobs of hot glue to put the cardstock down onto my mat to keep it in place. Just experiment with what works for you. I've done mats like this before where I used painter's tape and I used that to put the paper stencil onto the mat. Uh, this one was just so grassy and fuzzy kind of, so the painter's tape wasn't sticking. So I thought the little blobs of glue worked out pretty well. Just make sure that you can take the glue off with you know, your hands or pliers or whatever after. So just do a little test run. And then I just glued the little interiors of the O's and the E's and the L's down with my glue gun as well to create my welcome word stencil. Next I used the Rust-Oleum chalked paint because it's nice and thick and sticky in the color charcoal and a foam brush. And then I just put the paint on the foam brush and just kind of used a dabbing motion to fill in my stencil with my charcoal colored chalk paint. Just make sure when you're doing this not to go outside of the stencil and also just use really light dabbing movement so that you're not accidentally brushing underneath your stencil and wrecking your letters. I'll leave a link in the description box below to this one that I made if you want to use it for your own DIY welcome mat. So after you're all finished, just carefully remove the stencil. You might have to just kind of pry it off of the little glue gun blobs if you used that method or remove the painter's tape if you used that method to adhere your stencil to your mat. I only used one coat of chalk paint. You might have to go in after if you've noticed any missing parts of your letters with a tiny fine art paintbrush and just touch up any of the letters. And that is how I made this very simple DIY welcome mat with I, which I think looks really great on our spring porch. Tippy loved it too. She couldn't wait to rest on it. She's an old puppy so she loves resting on her front door mats. 
You could also do a more personalized version of this DIY mat if you want your last name on it. So here's how our front porch looks decorated for spring this year. We don't really get spring like weather until later on in the year. So I'm just trying to bring in some spring to our front porch with some faux elements like the faux tulip wreath, the faux boxwood. I found these taller boxwood at the brick in store and the smaller ones in front are from the grocery store last year. And of course I have just lots of little colors here to kind of welcome spring. So fresh greens, fresh pinks, some whites, the happy welcome mat, and my grandpa's vintage rocker is also here. And all of these elements I think create a nice, cheerful and happy spring front porch. Mm -hmm. 